What's going on, dickweeds? What are you showing me? That's better. Hey. Fucking right. You want to go outside? You got to take a shit, Shaws. Charlie the Labradoodle needs oot. Are you gonna watch him shit? No, I, it's cold out, so I gotta watch for him to. Okay, so, well, Donna's holding us up, so. <laughs> what can we talk about? He's shitting right now. He's shitting right now. It's cold. He's speed shitting, don't worry, he won't be long. <laughs> it's Thursday, and it's cold as fuck. How cold is it? Right now, it feels like minus 30 something. Minus 30 something. And tonight is minus 45. Minus 45 tonight. And by noon tomorrow. By noon tomorrow. Minus 40. We are fucked. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be going anywhere for the next couple days. It's too cold to go anywhere. I almost lost my cock today. I said I almost lost my cock today. Hey, <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard because Donna ripped the door open. Oh, I had to let the fucks cock. Up. It fucks up oh, the microphone. Oh, <laughs> it's this table. She comes here, I come knees here. the fucking table, knocks this down. Come on, Donna, get with it. Okay. <laughs> Today's 33 fucking days of no drinking. It's minus 34 out. Just figured it. <laughs> it's minus 34 out. It has been 33 days of no drinking. I wanted to pick up a six pack today. If I said to Donna, a dude should be allowed to have a six pack. And then she just acted stupid. <laughs> uh, so before I begin, do you got anything to talk about? Like what? <laughs> like something on there? Or just in general? Anything other than what's <coughs> on here? <coughs> no. Okay. Donna had a gig to get to this morning. So I was at home here. I had nothing to do. And I, I noticed the lady next door left. And I noticed that her son went to the bus stop to catch the bus because I guess he had to get to work. Why are you way over there? Okay. Because you have the camera on you. No. And the middle of the camera here. is on the. It says it says it's the cigarette behind me, and the numbers are on that. No, you're you're look at like you're you're closer to the. Listen, fuckhead. Well, you're the fuckhead. 
I got the camera in the middle. You're under the screen well, because you're fucked. No, it's Get the good. fuck over here. You're too big. You're too big. I'm not the one like this. <laughs> I'm not like this. Yes, you are. You're like this. You're like, move over. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Donna had a gig to get to. Uh, I know it's the lady next door left. Her son was at the bus stop. Um, Charlie's scared of the fucking the dog next door, right? So because there was nobody home, I figured, okay, well, now's a good time to let Charlie oot. So I let him oot. He went to the back over there, and he took a piss, and he walked around a little bit, and he sat down, realized he got a haircut, and stood right back up. <laughs> I don't think he likes his ball bag touching the snow anymore. <laughs> uh, then he decided, okay, it's time to go in. Because it was cold, right? Well, he got a haircut, so it's like really cold to him now. <laughs> uh, and I always wondered why he looks at the neighbor's house, the new neighbor that moved in with a dog that he's scared of. I always wondered why he looks there before he comes in and he barks at it. He, he gives like two or three barks to the side window of that house. And then he runs to the back door here and he wants in. So we'll open the door and he'll run in like he's being chased by something. Or someone. Right, Donna? Yeah. That don't make sense so far? Yeah. So anyway, today Charlie barked at that house. I let him in. <coughs> and I had this, the curtain open on the side here. And... I went walking by there and I noticed what he was barking at. He barks at the fucking side window to get that dog riled up so it jumps up at at the side window and starts barking at him. Because when I went to our side window, <clears throat> that dog seen me and it started barking at me. It looked at me with one eye like that and went, arr, 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 <laughs> you know? So I figured I'd tease it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the dog got more pumped up and <coughs> so I spent the most of the morning teasing the dog next door through the window but then it got tired and left uh, fucking Charlie he barks at the window to get the dog going? Yeah. is that what you're saying? yeah he teases the other dog <laughs> he shouldn't <laughs> Guy Coffee. I was coming home from where I was. And uh, so this happened like just past the Canadian Tire coming back on Riverside. So this fucking cocksucker pulls out of one of the... This sucker of cocks! I'm in the fast lane because uh, the slow lane is... The road's badly damaged from all the dump trucks and log trucks and transports and everything else that is heavy that's supposed to be in that lane, okay? So I'm going along. I have plenty of time, okay? Plenty of fucking time before the Tim Hortons, okay? Plenty of time. So this guy pulls out, this white truck, pulls onto the thing. So I'm thinking, okay, like, either he's going to speed up because there was nobody in that lane and I'll get in or he's just going to drive slow and I'll get in. But the fucking cocksucker. Okay. So here's here's me. Okay. And That's here's dumb. and I keep looking and the truck is exactly here, okay? So I there's no way I can get in. Okay. So I, I slow down a bit, right? The still nothing. I speed up, okay? The truck speeds up. I put my fucking signal on, okay? Cuz I wanted to stop to grab a coffee on the way fucking home cuz I wanted one. <laughs> like, okay? Nope, that fucking cocksucker all the way to fucking Algonquin, to the first set of lights by Terrio, right fucking there. Just stayed right fucking there. You ignorant fuck. I wanted to beat the shit out of the fucking guy. Donna wanted to beat the shit out of the fucking guy. You know, Mr. Fucking Business Suit. Suit dummy. Yeah, like, why you gotta be a cocksucker? I hope it happens to you. I fucking, I hope. I When shit like that, that happens to me, I hope it happens to the fucking person that's doing it. I was wondering why when she got home, she folded her hands and was going... She was praying for something to happen to that guy. 
I never see Donna pray. <laughs> I... <laughs> Not nothing bad, but I just hope, like you know, what you're trying to get in the lane, and somebody's not gonna let you in. They're and just you gonna... smash into something and catch fire. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> I don't want anybody catching fire. Holy fuck! <laughs> That's a little bit out there. Holy shit! There you have. Mm -hmm. Okay, the only other thing I got on my notes for today. It's been a boring Thursday because it's so cold, right? Uh, Donna's table came in, her new table. Um, we don't got a way to pick it up right now, though. We did have a way that Jizz has a buddy that's going to pick it up. Supposed to pick it up. But the Jizz went out last night, hung out with his friends, and now he's sleeping. He spent the day sleeping, so we don't know how to get in touch with his friend. So we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow, and hopefully we can get it. But what? Nothing. You had a big piece of hair on you. Well, you're looking at me like I got something else going on. No, I was just looking to make sure I got the hair. So anyway, hopefully tomorrow the jizz is awake, and he can get his buddy to go pick up the table for us. That's all I got. It was a really boring Thursday because it's cold at the. It's so cold, yeah. There's no you, like you can go places, but you don't want to. Yeah, like it, it just usually during like the day it warms up a bit or whatever, but not today. When Donna got back from her gig, I jumped in the car with her. We went to McDonald's real quickly to grab something to eat, and we were the only fucking people in the drive-through. Yeah, it's the whole time. There was nobody there. The only people like, that were out were the people probably heading home from work. Or those bum looking people that were running into the McDonald's. They look fucking cold though. Yeah, I think they're just going to warm up. Yeah. There's some hobolos. There's a place, like there's places, there is, they have shelter, like you know. You they can, have shelter, they just like to go other places. I don't know why. They like to make other places into their shelter. <laughs> Um, they go to McDonald's, move into a table. <laughs> There's a one fucking. When I say move into a table, I really mean it. They move into a table. It's their table for the day, the week. I'm I think as long as I don't know, I don't really go into McDonald's, but I see a lot of bums going in there. Because I think as long as you have a drink or something, right, you can stay, right? Like the do most ones? people, you like the most people use the drive-through now at McDonald's. Who the fuck goes into McDonald's anymore? I see old people go in there and people. I see look, bums, a lot of hobolos. And sometimes I see either grandparents bringing their grandchildren into the playland. Yeah, part. I'll admit I see a few kids in the playland when we're pulling up to the fucking drive-through. But I don't. But know not very many. Not like the old days. No, usually when you. I don't think people go in that much, hey? I think no, the, just... the, the, yeah, the drive through is mostly like, I think that's the busiest part of McDonald's here in Timmins. We're in Timmins, Ontario, for those of you that didn't know. Yeah, I don't th really think people go in there that much. I don't think so. We live in the asshole of the world. Skip the dishes hey. goes in, laws. Right, Donna? What? Timmins, Ontario is the arsehole of the yeah. world. It's uh, it's horrible here. It's horrible here. I was telling Ed about a story. Uh, this isn't. This is a story somewhere else, not in Timmins here, but in Ontario, in North Bay. Okay, which is like I don't know, four hours, three hours from. I don't know how many hours from here. About mm, three, three and a half. So this mother, right? I don't, okay, I'll say the story and then I'll say what my thoughts are. So there was a mother, got a baby. A mother. Hey. She was out of town with a, a like, a, uh, how do you say that? With a, what, okay, so she had to go to town because one of her kids were in basketball. So she got a babysitter for her seven-year-old. My understanding is the babysitter had a son of her own, an old, somebody older than the seven-year-old. So probably like an adult, right, of some sort that would be like, hey, I can watch your kid, but I got to bring mine with 
me. Right? I guess my, so. My, I don't that's know. my understanding. So the they were playing outside, right, on some street. And uh, the there was a seven year old boy and it was a seven year old girl and they get they got into an argument, okay, about sharing a, a sled. Anyways, the the argument, you know, when you're a kid you just just keep going on, like you go about your fucking shit, right? You're you're seven, like so anyways, they go to they end up out over at the corner store. Bah. Now the fucking you gotta talk loud, okay. the girl got her mother. She got her mother. Because she got her mother because there was an argument. She had an argument she had a with a boy. So she went and got her mother. The mother got over to the store and fucking held the fucking boy against the wall and was fucking choking him, okay? She choked him. Yeah, so anyways, they she got to like charged because there was witnesses, the fucking store employee. Yeah, there was witnesses there. The store employee had to tell her to fucking like not to do that and fucking be on her way, right? But I like, uh, you know, you have video surveillance and stuff like that, right? And, uh, they got video evidence. So she got <laughs> charged, and then, like, the other mother, the mother's, like, of the boy, right, that got the choking to, right? She, the, she asked, like, why the baby, why the mother didn't come over her, you know, to speak to her or something like that, and her, the mother that did the choking, her response was, knocked, didn't answer, so I dealt with it myself, or I dealt with it. You can't fucking choke a kid. I mean, what what is fucking wrong with you? I don't know how, like, I could not imagine, eh? Uh, can't imagine it. No, could you imagine when the kids were, like, seven years old and they come, oh, one of them comes home and says, like, and somebody's mother choked them holding against the wall? No, because I would have I went and choked that mother. I don't know how. I, I wouldn't have stood for that shit. Just saying, I, I, I would have beat the. I would have got on the, got in my vehicle, fucking came home, and beat the fucking shit out of her. I would have. You don't. She would have got a shit kicking. <laughs> like that is, I don't understand. First of all, they're seven. You know, they have to learn. Like, so what if they were arguing? That's what kids do. You need to fucking, you know. What is it? The world's supposed to be? You're not supposed to argue. Everybody's supposed to get along. Cause that's fucking bullshit. That's bullshit. Nobody gets along. There's people that me get... and Dawn are married, and we don't even fucking get along. <laughs> we get along. I'm just saying. Could you imagine growing up and never having an argument or a fight with one of your friends? Could you no, imagine? I got, into, I got into arguments and fights with my friends all the time. It's a part of growing up. You don't want to. <coughs> like, like, um. <coughs> like, for instance, I think I told this story before, but I don't know if I did or not, but there was a time that when Justin was going to school, he was in public school, and a fucking teacher, uh, uh, they were looking outside, they were outside with the fire trucks, and the fucking teacher, the music teacher at the time, because he taught other things too, uh, grabbed a hold of Justin and by, by Justin's shoulders, and he pushed him, right, like Justin, and I remember this, right, and he was like, I, I brought him to the hospital, hospital, right? I and but I wanted to fucking kick the living shit out of that fucking guy. I did. I wanted to kick him in his. Well, the jizz head works on his back from the teacher. Yeah, and I brought him to the hospital. And when you bring your kid to the hospital, like I didn't know this, like this, you know what I mean? They have to do like a whole separate, like uh, they do a report, but then the but then at the same time they have to call the police, right? Because an adult, like a teacher, did this to a kid. It, you know, but I want to, I want to, you know, I can't say what I want to do to that teacher, but 
I just don't know how that, as a parent, how you just, you know, the cops probably say right to you, right? Like, oh, don't do anything because you're going to get charged. But who fucking cares at that point? And who cares at that point? You, touch, you know, like you touched my kid. You touched my kid. Now I got to touch you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there be a lot of touching going on. That's the way it's supposed to be. That's the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what else? I don't know. I ran out of notes. I don't, um... We seen this East Indian today. Okay, when we left... <laughs> <laughs> when we left here, it was like minus 33. It was minus 33 out. Motherfucker's walking down Algonquin with a fucking tracksuit on. And his fucking <coughs> hair's done up like Elvis Presley. Like, what the fuck? It bobbled, like, it was so, like, uh, held in place. That it was minus 30. Three. Three. N no hat, no no mitts, no scarf, just... No brains. <laughs> running shoes. Fuck! Hey. <laughs> the fucking... Stupid mom when we pulled into the fucking drive through because it's so cold, like there's a little bit of a hump, but now like the hump is, has, it's growing, <laughs> like it's getting... The humps in the road are getting bigger. This dumb fucking bitch this morning over at the fucking gas station. Dumb bitch. At the Canadian Tire gas bar. Uh, I was there, like all the first rows with the via with the cars facing that way, so you would just pull out like this. I guess if you had, I to, wasn't even there. <laughs> if you had to like back up, you could, but most people just drive out like that, right? This fucking car pulls up, right? And instead of pulling over to the side, which you would do to run into the convenience store, right? Because it's like gas station convenience store. The fucking dumb bitch parks right fucking... We all had to fucking wait. I wonder... I know who she is, and you are fucking stupid. You are fucking stupid. Both you and your friend. You, you are and your fucking friend. stupid. You is stupid. You are pissing all of us off. You You're pissing tell. everybody off. I, I, I looked over, and the lady beside me in the next fucking thing, right? She was just like, you know, had this face on, like, if you don't move your car she was like about to if you don't move your car i'm gonna fucking move it for you yeah ya. <laughs> huh. what else happened uh donna's been buying me a bunch of t-shirts i don't know how many there are there like but i cut the sleeves off every fucking one today <laughs> Well, that's why you, they all look better. I think you would, if I ever seen you just in a regular t-shirt with the sleeves on, I think you would look a little bit funny. Hey? Maybe. I gotta let the pipes breathe. <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Anyway. Yeah, it's been very boring here today. Ed told me that the fucking lady... I was in here for this. I was in the shower, maybe. Hey, I think it was in the shower. When you said the lady was blowing kisses at the dog? Yeah, she was leaving. She blows. She blowing kisses to her dog like it was a human being. The dog don't fucking know what you're doing. <laughs> she looked kind of retired of doing it, but not my business, right? I can see you say to your dog, Okay, bye, so-and-so, right? <laughs> Like, when I leave, I'll say, bye, Charlie, see you later, or I'll be back soon, and that's, I don't blow I, kisses. When I leave, I always say, watch the house, Shaws. Yeah. <laughs> and I leave. <laughs> and Charlie just kind of looks around like, what does that mean? <laughs> and then he goes and lays back down, I'm guessing. <laughs> I don't know, I want to say he just maybe sleeps. Oh, somebody put something in my mailbox. 
Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. again. I see somebody walking up the driveway. I'm just checking out Donna's ring cam. Okay, well, come on, Donna, talk. I don't know. If I find to... anything of value, I, I will pass it on to you. You know, I was. I, now that you have that up, I have. Uh, I. Uh, was thinking well I don't know about now because it's pretty fucking cold out but I was wondering if the fucking cameras are on high I wonder if we could see the mice no why because you're not gonna see the well, fucking mice Donna when they travel to the front little scurry fucking they say the fucking groceries are going up again eh okay I'm gonna show Donna the that little <laughs> skit. What? Did you see? <laughs> and the only the only thing there is her dog. Her kid went and caught the bus, and the other one's at school. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that, Donna? Cuckoo! Hey! <laughs> Holy fuck! Fuck! So, what do you think of that? You, did you think I, I was kidding? <laughs> I wasn't kidding. She really blows kisses and waves at her dog. <laughs> she doesn't even do that with her own fucking kids. Oh, well. What a fucking nut job. She should be over there. <laughs> All right? She's crazy. Do you know what I thought was wrong today? No. As I was coming home, I was driving over there, <laughs> like I turned mm -hmm. on to Terrio, and it was like uh, getting out of school time, like the high school kids were getting out, because it was really busy, but plus I seen them, right? And I seen like, okay, you got your high school kids that like, you know, they're they won't wear a hat for the fucking life of them, right? <laughs> or like a toque or a sock. Oh, well, you don't want to mess your hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, and, and you're like, they, you know, not all, but some of them. Like, I, I seen this fucking boy, right? He was probably like, I want to say. I'm going to get my road toke ready while Donna tells you the story. He was probably like, I want to say 15 or 16. And the way the wind was blowing, he was walking like he put his back against it. Yeah. Now, his other friends seemed to dress appropriate, right? Like, they had their fucking mitts, their fucking hats, their fucking winter coat. This kid's face was so fucking red, right? Like, I, I did feel bad for him, right? But I was thinking, like, are you cool now? Like, are, do you feel cool? Because you look stupid. But anyways, that's not my point. The, the, now, the kids that are not in high school, right? And the ones that have to walk to school, okay? Could you... Like, minus 33 is hard on a fucking, you know, like an eight-year-old and shit, you know? I don't think that's that's right that they have to... I think they should be... put on a bus and driven home. You know, like... Yeah. How, like, the, some <laughs> of the schools up here, they get to a certain age and say, oh, you know what, your kid can walk to school. It doesn't matter, as a parent, how you feel about it. Yeah, your but the school board, they're all a bunch of cocksuckers. Yeah, so, but I think on, like, cold days, like, even, like, those I kids, think I need to... I think I'm going to... I'm gonna need them. I'm gonna. Now? No. I'm gonna need another torch tomorrow. Uh, I got one, I just gotta like get it. I think <laughs> those kids should be. They should. That, that's on high right now. Oh, well, anyways, I think those kids should not be. They shouldn't have to walk home when it's this cold because it's cold. Too cold. Anyways, stay happy, stay safe, be kind, enjoy your Thursday. Uh, and uh, if you're in this area where all this cold air is, well, stay warm. Create, you need to create <coughs> body heat. Uh, <coughs> I think I'm in trouble tonight. <coughs>
I'll go open up the window wide. When you're tired, it's hard to collect body heat with Donna. Why? Because it starts off, you know, we're we're beside each other, you know, we're warming up. You know, the body heat's picking up under the blankets. Yeah. Next thing you know, you feel Donna's fucking little hand reach reach into your fucking shorts and she grabs your cock. They were trying to warm up. Why are you trying to bang? I'm tired and cold, not tired and horny. What do you mean? That's what you do every I time. Mean, it feels like a little hand. Yeah, it's a little hand and grabs onto my big dick. She's like this on it, but like fucking grab that, Donna. That's what's like. Anyway. Yeah. Body heat turns into fucking. Bang. She makes me sweat. You don't sweat. Sure, I do. I do all the work in bed. Don't. You don't do nothing. <laughs> she doesn't just go. <laughs> Cigarette holder to everybody. We are oot. We are oot. What are you doing? This is how I sit now. Remember you said at the beginning? Yeah, well, you have to go further more than that. Why well, have to go further? Because that's the way it feels. Oh, so I sit like this further than that now? <laughs> Fuck off. You're such a liar. No. You're such a lying okay, shit. Okay, and you don't ever sit there <laughs> You're with a your... lying shit. How you're sitting is you never sit like that. I always sit like this. You're a liar. You lie. This is how I sit. No, you don't. This is how I roll now. <laughs> Good, because I'm going to take you out to dinner somewhere, and I want you to sit like that at the fucking table. <laughs> oh, yeah, the shatter them on. That's a uh, rock star. I got a whole bunch of different ones today. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, it's warm in here. <laughs> 